Hi everyone, Curtis here from Goth Rider Creations and in today's episode we're going to do take two on trying to make this fretboard. Stay tuned! So if you saw the last episode you'll see what happened to that fretboard that I tried to make. Now I did take some of the suggestions I got on the uh, comments, including Lisa Harshberger, thank you, who was saying that if it was just a case of trying to flatten it out a bit more and then hopefully it would work. Now unfortunately sometimes resin will do this. Um, one of the comments Ben made that was perfectly accurate is that unless you use long longitudinal strips of wood rather than little bits and pieces, it's naturally going to curl. The heat from the resin, humidity, room temperature, there's so many different things that can affect these. Um, I did try to put a load of weight on it and flatten it out while it was still slightly tacky um, and it's still wonderfully banana shaped um, but then when you flex it, I mean you can see from here, when you even flex it slightly it will snap and if you look here, oh I don't know if I can show you, it's actually the wood that's fracturing rather than the resin. So it is, yeah. Uh, I can categorically say that as is, balsa wood is not a good option for a fretboard. We've proved something in this series. Now, if I had access to a vacuum chamber and some thin resin or some cactus juice, then theoretically I could impregnate the wood with resin get it really strong or use a thin resin and then literally put it in a bath and use a vacuum chamber to either pull the air out and infuse the resin or use pressure to force the resin into the wood. Without those, it's not gonna work. So maybe in the future, we'll look at that. Um, I did also get a lot of really awesome suggestions from people saying that I should use lollipop sticks or that I should reinforce the base of it with fiberglass or carbon fiber. Um, there are ways you can make this work and in the future I will revisit this and see what we can do. But for the moment I am running out of time and patience. So yeah, that one's done. Um, but yeah. So after that fail that you saw in the previous episode, uh, I poured myself a very large glass of uh, lemon squash and had a chat with uh, Mrs. Gothrider. And we were coming up with various ideas, very similar to the suggestions that a lot of you made. Um, other materials I could use to try and laminate in with the resin. Um, I did consider doing some kind of fabric work. I think they call it micarta in the knife making world. Um, but, I decided it just wasn't, not on this one, I'm doing enough crazy stuff as it is, so I think it's probably best to go a bit more traditional. Uh, so then it involved me racking my brain thinking what timber do I have that I can actually work with. Now as I've said before most of the timber I've got is construction and it's softwood so most of it is not ideal in the slightest. But I did remember I have this. Oh, This is a long grain bamboo chopping board that I got from, you guessed it, the pound shop for three pounds. Now they turned up about six months ago in the pound shop, I saw them and I snatched up everyone they had because I figured this will be great for other projects, it'd be really nice to have a sustainable hardwood that is not very expensive, it kind of ticks all the boxes, you know, hard, strong, long grain and sustainable. So yeah. So I figured this is going to be absolutely perfect. And then I went on to my usual Sunday evening live stream with uh, Ben on Crimson Guitars because the community there is amazing. And uh, I asked everyone's opinions and then Ben actually responded to my question. And he said, you'll love this. Goth Rider Creation says, hey Ben, I made my fretboard out of wood chips and resin and it turned into a banana. Wood chips, yes, absolutely. I need to find a household item or some hardwood from a B&Q-esque place to make a new one from. Any ideas? Uh, okay, so wood chips and resin is the problem. You need to have some long um, longevity, uh, some longitudinal strips of something at the very least. Uh, I would say melamine worktop would be great. Cut into strips, put together. Uh, veneer cut into strips 
would be fantastic. You could probably find a bamboo chopping board. Probably end grain, so not that great, but uh, yeah, something like that. So yeah, great minds think alike. So this is what I'm using. Now, I'm not using that one because I've got this one that has some really awesome layering, it's dark fading to light. Now, unfortunately, I have to cut across the wood and I'm really not a fan of that because I don't like wasting large chunks of wood. But thankfully, I've got other projects in mind so I can use the diagonal chunks on either side. So it's not going to be as wasteful as it could be. There is one slight problem though, and uh, this is about 15 mil thick. Now that's way too thick for what I need. Now I could try and use a thickness of planer or some other way of doing this, but as you know, I don't have the ability to do that here. So what I'm going to do, and even despite the mess I made of the carbon fibre stiffening channels, I'm going to use my Dremel again and I'm going to try and see if I can literally just do a 5mm skim and just flatten across. Now, as with the truss rods, I mean truss rods, with the uh, carbon rod channels, this might not go perfectly, but all I need to do is take 5mm thickness off of this, and then that will bring it down to between 9 and 10mm, depending on what side it is. That gives me options to then sand the radius in, get it down a little bit lower, because with the height of everything I'm doing on this guitar, I'm probably going to have to have quite a thick fretboard anyway. So it won't go down to the normal 5mm people usually do. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can get this chunk flattened. Um, that's the side I'm working with, so I have marked out the diagonal there of the area that I need to take off. And then once I've done that, I can then cut from the other side the size I need for the fretboard and we should be in business.
but as usual took a lot longer than I wanted but now we have a fretboard well we have most of a fretboard I'm guessing this is why it was cheap in the pound shop they literally just left chunks out of the center of this thing so one step forward as usual now this actually is not too bad because the rest of it is quite solid so I'm literally going to fill it with resin um, it's pretty strong anyway obviously there's going to be an issue with that center section but once I've filled that up that'll be fine and I have got all of the sawdust so I am going to I'm not going to go too crazy because I don't want it to be a paste but I want to give it a bit of binding in there so I am going to do a quick mummification and then fill this thing up with resin Well, as usual, nothing ever goes smoothly, but we've got a fretboard. I'm going to wait for that resin to cure. I'm going to leave that full two, maybe even three days before I take that off of the bench. I have weighed down either end, so then hopefully it won't flex like last time. But then again, this is only the centre section just to fill that void. It's not to hold it all together. So I'm hoping it'll be okay. So, yeah, once again, hopefully... This will work and I won't have to make fretboard number three. But if I do, I won't film it because, yeah, I'm sure you've seen enough of this by now. <sighs> so, yeah, there you go. Uh, next, if this is all right, it will get a quick sand. It will go on the guitar and then we'll get a little bit closer to actually stringing this thing up. Because, uh, yeah, running out of time. But, uh, yeah, if not, then uh, you'll see fretboard mark three. And we'll carry on anyway. So yeah, next time, tuners, bridge, and we might even think about stringing this thing up, but might not get that close. But anyway, uh, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave us a comment. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this will be fun again. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.